Do you want to give us a gurgle? Oh. I'm running low. <laughs> and I actually have to get out of the seat because the mic's so low. You can go gurgle anywhere. This is awful. Mm. It is actually, I can't do this. What, with the, with the mic, with the headphones? <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> I've already ready. done that about three times before today, but yeah. Rennie keeps on restarting the podcast. <laughs> okay, are we ready? <sighs> okay. Hello, and welcome back to the Lights Out podcast, episode one, with our special guest this week being Eleanor Hignett. Hi! Hello, Eleanor. Welcome to the show. Can you give us a little introduction to yourself? Well, my name's Eleanor. I'm from Southport, which is about 20 minutes away from Liverpool. Oh. Uh, Really. Um, I am 20 years old and I study journalism at Salford Uni. So basically you're a, you're a, you're a stupid um, television and radio student. I'm not television and radio, I just basically exploit everyone's secrets. Ooh. Ooh. Everyone hates um, journalists. <laughs> welcome, back no one wants to to my, me. welcome back to my two co-stars, um, James and Jack. How have you guys been in the week since we recorded the last podcast? Drunk. <laughs> yeah, it's not wrong. I don't know. I can't remember when we last did it, to be honest. It was just us three, do you remember? Was it Friday? Yeah, and then I went to Sunderland. And then... Drunk. Yeah, no, remember. it wasn't. It was Wednesday, wasn't Saturday. it? I think it was Thursday or Friday last week. It was It was before the weekend, because he went on... Oh, you went on Friday. It must have been Thursday. It was, it was the... Wednesday. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore, yeah, does yeah. it? No. Um, so... No, we don't want to listen to it. Um, welcome to the official first episode. Because uh, the last one we're counting as a pilot, thought we'd make a couple of changes. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was great. It was a good. It was a good episode. Apparently, a lot of people liked it. Really? I, I, I heard. I, I've heard only good things. How um, many viewers did you get? So far, this is this is only this. We're recording this the day after it came out. So far, it's got like 125 listens all Gosh. over over everything. So that's live Crikey. views, Spotify, um, and. On YouTube, cool. well, um, 124. I know for certain. Mom. My, <laughs> yeah. my mum enjoyed it, so um, and she was angry because I didn't give her a shout out. So I'm gonna give Michelle a shout out. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 t- I told my whole family and friends to listen to Utter Radio live at seven, and Long it didn't, it, and it didn't play on Utter Radio at seven because it got confused somewhere in the Utter Radio ranks. Um, so, and it played at 1 p.m. instead in, uh, earlier in the day. So only o- only o- only one person listened to it. Someone who didn't catch that I asked to change the time to 7 p.m. But from now on, I promise, if you listen to Utter Radio at 7 p.m. on a Wednesday, it will be us, unless it's like off-term time and we don't have an episode to play. So in That's this why first, record, yeah. yeah. So in the, in this first episode, a little change we wanted to make is that we're actually recording at night now. Yeah. Add some atmosphere. Add some atmosphere. We've we've kind of dimmed the lights a little bit in here. Very spooky. Make it spooky. Yeah. Um, so. How honoured are you to be the first guest on this show? Oh, I'm absolutely honoured. You really should be, actually. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, this is the best It's not like we were, there. we were looking like for ages. <laughs> <laughs> we were really desperate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eleanor is the only person free on a Thursday night, it seems. And um, Amber, who should be studying. So, if she does where, is placement. <laughs> <laughs> where is Amber? Where is Amber? Not got, at placement! <laughs> we've, got, we've got a special guest sitting off to the side, who would have been our first guest, but she actually doesn't have a ghost story to tell. It's not a common thing, is it? <laughs> <laughs> really thought it was a common thing. Come and say hi to this camera. Hi. <laughs> okay, I'll go away. And don't talk for the next hour. Um, okay, so let's not mess around. Eleanor. Hi. What spooky stuff has happened to you? Well, basically, um, we had a family drama um, around about 10, 15 years ago with the loss of my uncle. Um, my uncle was very close to the family. He was more like a brother rather than an uncle. He would come and stay with us because... My gran, she would live quite far away from his school and he died in a car crash um, late in the evening around about one that we can gather. Um, But no one knew until the next day. But it was about two months after my little sister was born and she was obviously not crawling, she wasn't walking or anything like that. And... We were really close to my uncle, and that day she got out of her pra- uh, a pram, her cot, and was sat outside of his door, which was obviously really weird. But the day of his death, as well, that time he was obviously in the accident, so that was really creepy for us because obviously she couldn't walk. And right. Yeah. So. So she just crawled to like the out the outside of his door. Yeah. The night the night he died. The night he died in the car accident. Yeah. Well, they say babies can sense like different things. Like, yeah. How, like, yeah. We were yeah. saying that last week. Yeah, yeah that's can sense when you're like ill or 
in trouble. Yeah, so well, what, was it like his bedroom door? door? But it, outside, outside of his bedroom door, door. Okay. yeah. Well, she can't meant... open the door. <laughs> no, I thought you meant he called to his house, like, up the street. <laughs> no, no, she, he lived He lived in our house oh, because okay. yeah. he, um, we had a, we have a big house, so he would stay there. <laughs> he would Sorry. stay there <laughs> when he would have education and then go back to Manan's at the weekends mm. and see his mates from home. Does your house have an annex? What's an annex? You didn't know what an annex was. I didn't know was. what an annex was. Maybe it's not a word. It is a it's word. not a word. It what is, is an annex? Is. An annex is like a little house next to your house. That you own. That's part of your house, but it's like actually disconnected. It's a thing, isn't it? Not really. <laughs> we have a, like a, I wouldn't say, it's a garage, but it doesn't really, no. No. It's, it's got really electricity, it's got everything, lights and all that heat. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not really much. Okay, so what do you guys think about that baby sensing stuff? I fuck with it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It definitely. is creepy. My friend has a similar story where he would come home from um, school and he would sit in front of this mirror in the <sighs> basement. What the heck? In the bathroom. When he was really young, like I'm talking like nursery school sort of stuff. So there, there would be this mirror in, in the basement. Um, it was like a standing mirror. And he had... Uh, a sister and two brothers, but he always just used to go there by himself when he was when he was young, and you'd just sit in front of the mirror, turn the lights off, and apparently just talk that to the mirror creepy. until his mum until his mum would walk in, see that he was just talking to himself in the mirror, and then I think I think the first time she caught him doing that, she was like, "What are you doing that for?" But then she caught him a couple of times after, yeah. and I think they they stopped him from going in there because they're they're quite like a spiritual family yeah so they were just like we don't want you to go in there anymore so he, he, he was he was banned from that room and they took they, they got rid of the mirror do you reckon spent more time looking in the mirror jack or that kid <laughs> <laughs> i don't know but what do you guys think about that like what, babies one? babies being more young people yeah. yeah young young people being more well, alert really to sort of the supernatural than or do you think it's just them being babies no i reckon just People, certain people do certain things like you can feel because they say like you know like young people like toddlers and stuff because they're still like forming their personalities and stuff they're easy mm. to like infiltrate if you're an evil spirit yeah do you think it works the same the other way around sexual predator. do you think you get to a certain age when you're older where it starts to do that because you were talking to us last week about how your granddad passed away and yeah. your grandma found solace and like that sort of stuff do you, do you think it works the other way like when you're nearing the end that it sort of you start to get more weird things happening to you would you say that like how like, like bookends of your life i'm not old. like when you're, you're, more, you're more you're more connected to the other side like the light you see when you die is actually you being born so you have that like oh right. that's I'm dead crazy kind of sense I've had, imagine like, when you die shit. you get born again as yourself and you have to live your whole life again oh no oh, fuck that <laughs> no <laughs> you'd love like you'd be like yeah you're back to america <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, shit. Having, having 100k yeah, followers on twitter that. again and that's all you do it for and then losing them all over again. And then starting this podcast again. Uh, wow. That's crazy. What a great time that would be. Fucking social media platform. Hmm. Hierarchy. So how did that story about your sister make you feel at the time? Obviously it was really awkward because we were really close with the with my own call. But we could only have just blamed it on being <clears> like just crawling or walking at the time, whatever. So we didn't think anything of it. And then... I think everyone, after like talking it through with the family, and we, I wouldn't even say it was a little bit paranormal because she, obviously mm. we were really close. But she obviously would get out the car when she was barely crawling, and the, especially the day. And she's not done it since. Well, she doesn't do it since. She does sleepwalk sometimes. There's a story where she sleptwalks on a cruise ship. Oh, and, oh. <laughs> yeah. That's scary. Scary. <laughs> she, uh, we were on the twelfth floor, and the reception's on the fourth floor. And she sleptwalked, thinking it was the bathroom door. Opened the door to go out the cruise ship, out the cabin, and she walked to the fourth floor, was still asleep. Jesus. No one actually realised yeah. until someone actually stopped her. Yeah, and brought her back to the room. Mum got a call at four o'clock in the morning. Your daughter's downstairs. No, she's not, but she wasn't in the bed. Okay. Yeah, so My she's God. had a few experiences, but. Yeah. Do, do you think sleepwalking at all in any way is kind of weird, or is that? I just sleptwalked a... on Saturday. Huh? I sleep talk. I slept walked on Saturday. Did you? I got really drunk and. Do you think it's anything, or do you think it's just? Do you, it's think, just... It, do you think? Do you think it's just bodily it's just functions? Body. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's like dreaming, isn't it? Really. <laughs> sleep paralysis. Is it sleep paralysis? Yeah, that would guys... scare the crap out of me. I've, I've, I've had that. I've yeah, had yeah, that yeah. as well. That's that's the only. When that's you can't the only move, thing. and there's like 
something, in, but you're just literally frozen. It's that, horrible. It's just because yeah. you wake up. That's the only thing in my life where I've actually had an experience, but then me not really believing in it has just been like, it's just sleep paralysis. But if, if, if science hadn't existed and we didn't know what sleep paralysis was and this thing would have happened to me, I would have definitely believed in weird stuff. I've, I basically woke up and the painting on my wall came to life and it was it's, it's a it's like a picasso painting it's like a disfigured head that'd be crazy i, I was tripping like really young okay, you're and take them, it you scared go. the life out of me and i didn't realize until because i didn't know what sleep process was at the time mm. so i i, I but it was sort of like when I got older and realised what sleep paralysis was, then I was just sort of like, okay, well then, yeah, there's definitely no experience I've ever had that was weird, because that was the only one I ever had. But I was like, I was paralysed for like a good four hours, not being able to move in my bed. Bullshit, oh my long? God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was like, uh, like a and, it, and, and, yeah. and like, it, it wasn't when I was waking up or anything. It was bang in the middle of the night. I woke up. Could you this, speak? Nope. Couldn't move anything. I hate that, but usually it, only, usually it only lasts for like twenty seconds. Yeah. No, it was. It, I think it was because I was so scared because I didn't know what yeah. it was. You that shock. I was like, I was in shock, and then I think maybe it was half paralysis, half like you know when you just freeze from being so scared. Yeah. So I, I think it started off as, as paralysis, but then it got to a point where I was like placebo that I couldn't move and I was scared, so I didn't want to. I've heard know, the I was story there for hours. online. I can't actually remember if I heard it or someone told me, but there was apparently a guy who was in surgery. Obviously, you get you. You, you, you gas to make you fall asleep and he was awake halfway through and he's obviously sleep paralysis and oh, he couldn't no. move, he couldn't scream and he just watched the whole thing happening. I, I would honestly... That would be the worst thing maybe ever. Yeah, that's crazy. Have you, Wait, is your sister like experienced anything else and does she remember like it at all? No, not really. She was obviously very young when he died, so I don't think she remembers anything from him, just pictures and stuff like that. But Has anything else happened to do with it since? Not to do with it since, but my nan passed away. Um, Pauline, for our joint name. Spooky. Nan. Um, she passed away due to... It was it was cancer, but it started with, like, they, they actually said it was like a heartbreak, heart like a heart yeah. loss, because obviously she lost the son at the age of 20, 21, mm. so it was awful. But she, yeah, she apparently passed with a heartbreak and then it well, led to cancer and all that mm. stuff. Um, but I don't, my mum's always said that she will, she'll always carry around like my nan's locket mm -hmm. around her neck and stuff like that. And she'll always say goodnight to my nan before she goes to bed and all this. Um, but yeah, she. I wouldn't. Hmm, it's a weird one because I don't. I can't say if I believe in ghosts or anything like that. That was going to be my, my question. I forgot that I hadn't actually asked you yet. You've obviously said this paranormal experience yeah. happened to your sister, but I was going to say, do you believe that that was an experience, like a a, a phenomenon, or do you think that maybe it was just a coincidence? A, a, weird, yeah. a weird baby doing something. It was just a coincidence that it was on that day. Yeah, I don't know because obviously I don't. I I can't say I don't believe in ghosts because I've been on that many ghost tours. I've seen obviously mm. pictures and stuff like that. Um, we went. We went to on holiday at a place called Saint Augustine down in America, and it's meant to be one of the most haunted places in America and Florida. I think anyway, it's been told. And we go on ghost tours there, and we take photos. We go around and like midnight and take photos of the streets when the like there's no lights on. And I took a picture, and there was an orb on there, but I don't know if it was just like, that shitty, sounds like camera quality. Yeah, anyway. I was gonna say mm. shitty quality or. What, but the light coming in. Mm. Dust. Anyway, I've got a question from a listener. Okay, <laughs> well, what's your, what's your I was not said? prepared for this. <laughs> but by listener, which member of your family was it? Uh, my mother. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, she basically said because in the last episode, Re Rennie was sort of joining um, the paranormal and believing in ghosts to do with religion, and she says, mm -hmm. "Why do you think you have to be religious to believe in ghosts?" I was up. thinking that when I was editing it, I went over trick. that, and I, I, when you guys asked me what what what's it got to do with with religion, are you are you religious? I am a Catholic. I went to a Catholic high school mm. and primary school. They have been com confirmed, yeah, com okay. I don't know. Confirmed. yeah, but I, I I don't go to church. I don't do mm. anything like that. So, but, but they both come from being passed down through history, like what yeah. Catholic is like religious yeah, 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 beliefs yeah. all started just because of this. Like, yeah. What happens if we're just a few? thousand million generations behind we're just catching up with the ghosts mm. yeah maybe um Wait, what is that you said you believe now no um <laughs> what was your 
your your religion christian christian is, and that's not, is, 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 is catholicism like a, a subgenre yeah. or is it different yeah, it comes from, i uh, think so yeah. Yeah. Catholic. Catholic. right so um i think why do I think? Okay, so so you you're Catholic. You didn't give us a definitive answer earlier. If you were, if you had to say if you believed in ghosts or not, I know it's like a uh, meh, 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 But if you were to if you were to go to a haunted place, would you be going there expecting to see something, or would you be going there being like, I'm definitely not going to see anything because they're not real. And if I do see something, it's probably fake. I'd probably say it could be real. I I'm not going to rule out mm-hmm. the fact that this could be something. It's not going to be something there, but like I don't know, it, 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 something. Could be. If you went to a haunted like house, mm-hmm. would you be like, oh, it's just a haunted house, like I'm not scared? But how would you be what scared? do you just find haunted house? You just I, I, feel, like an abandoned house. House I feel like it's not a haunted when place. I, a house. When when I was uh when when we put yep. out the first shut up, James. When we <laughs> when we broadcasted the first episode yesterday, I got a, a lot of messages from people who listened to it, some of my friends telling me about um stuff. Obviously you guys I said if you've got anything from Corby or from anything from Brighton, any any ghost stories to bring back, then then do so. I didn't think there would have been anything from Spain, but I got a couple of people telling me about this house called Cortija something that down near where I live in Spain. Um and apparently it's like one of the most haunted houses in uh, the whole of the country, and it's pretty close to where I was uh, I was brought up. But then when I looked into it, it, I was like, why is it haunted? And a lot of the things, it's like bodies found there and um, disappearances around there. And that's when I start to think, like, I feel like people put haunted as a, a name on top of things that basically just, like, murder and crime, isn't yeah. it? Like, if, you, if you're saying that a house is haunted because a lot of people have died there, then maybe just, maybe, maybe go in there to see if there's a ghost is a bad idea because it sounds to me like there's just maybe just some druggies in there that just kill people or something when i was younger i was really into like them ghost things so the ghost whisperers and they would go to the houses and or abandoned things and i would love that but then i don't know if it was just like oh it was just for entertainment quality and mm. they would just do a bang in the corner of yeah, the room yeah. or something like that. that's what i think with that ghost whisperer is now like he's when he started, he was like more serious about it. Now he's and just, that, now, he's it's, an now it's because it's a a fully fledged thing with a budget and yeah. people yeah. that he has to pay. He's like more. It, it has to does. be. It has to be successful. So you can't. You can't just have no content. Um, going back to what you said about why do I draw a connection between religion and, and ghost? I don't really know actually. Maybe maybe that was wrong of me to do so. Because you don't believe in either. Do you? Because I don't in believe ghosts? in either. I don't believe in ghosts. You would know that if you listen to our podcast. <laughs> lights um, out. What? Are the lights just turned off? What's just wrong the with the building? Yeah. Oh, okay. it's just people turning lights off. Oh, dun, 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 dun. I was going to say something, but I've forgotten that. <laughs> Did a ghost turn off the lights next door, or was it someone in the ICD? someone flicking a switch? Building, I guess we'll never know. Maybe it's a haunted building. Ooh. What building is that? Is that a BBC oh. building? That's ITV, isn't ITV, it? yeah. No, ITV is upstairs. Oh, it's BBC, I think. Yeah, that's B- I think that's BBC. Oh, it's, BBC yeah. it's the one that um, they record Radio 6 in on the bottom. Um, um, what has the listener just told us? What? Is that, is that listener? <laughs> Who's Shelley? Me, mum. <laughs> Mummy. Apparently, Pauline, my grand, saw a ghost in the back of her car. Are you sure this wasn't her reflection? Detailed story. <laughs> Should we FaceTime Pauline? <laughs> <laughs> was he lying down? Was he sat down? I think was it even a he? No, was a woman. Not, I, I just assumed not a ghost. ghost. <laughs> not a ghost. Her father. Oh, which was he a was ghost. like a dead like right? Okay, yeah. so he was a ghost. Cool. Your nan's got some banging stories. <laughs> yeah, we need we need to get Pauline on here quick. Can I phone Mum and just so she can explain the story? Sure, give it. Yeah, phone your Mum. She might want, not want to do it. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Mum. Um. Oh. Would you be willing to speak about it on the podcast? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> really? Tell her that I'm keeping this bit in at least. I mean, you've been recording. So she might as well. Too. Can you say that thing about Craig and the house? Annie's re- top no. of the stairs. No. Why not? I don't like it. You know, like. Okay, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you just oh, find yes. her. <laughs> Not even a love you, Mark. I say I love you to my mum every time I put the phone down. If you're listening to That's this, he loves you. <laughs> She's going to be fuming now. Shelly, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for pressuring you into doing something that maybe you don't want to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just yeah. it with us for this. <laughs> Shut up, James. Um, where were we? 
before that? Uh, are you religion. Talk, are you talking about um, this house in Spain? Oh yeah. No, no, that was ages ago. Oh. Talking about the my connection between religion and and thingy, but like, even even that was a little while ago. But I d- I think the reason I draw the line, or the draw the connection between the two, is because I don't know. Maybe Do you believe in aliens like star science? Aliens. Star science? No, no. Aliens are definitely way. fucking real. It's aliens. Aliens are real, but that's like again. That, okay, that's so why can you say we haven't alien? seen them there. Don't give me the what do you mean aliens are real? When no, I believe in it. I'm but not saying aliens are real. I don't see why you don't believe in we've got, we've got, aliens. We have got no proof, so I'm not going to say. That there's another planet real. with humans on as well. Definitely, we're not humans. How do you know we're not, we're not just not human? Since then, aliens just definitely could be. exist. Like, we could be. They could we, not exist. I, I feel like I feel like the alien debate is a lot. A lot of people say there are aliens because they have to be. I feel like even that's a bit of a stretch. You can't you can't say there are aliens because they have to be. Think about there are I, I, I would say there are almost it's almost it's, 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 not, it's, it's almost impossible for there not to be aliens. There's trillions yeah, of stars exactly. and there's how but there, infinite but, but we don't the have, universe is. Yeah, but we there's don't. We, but, but we no, don't. Sorry, there is definitely there. Is, there are definitely aliens. Yeah. But how, how do you know then? There are a lot of people who think that there's like a, the, 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 the <laughs> Pauline seen one. What, what an alien? What happens if ghosts are just aliens? No. What? What happens if ghosts are just aliens? That's the best crossover theory <laughs> I've ever heard. That's like that's like Avengers of, of conspiracy. Yeah. Let's see. Why? What do you mean? Why? No. Not at all. Yeah. No, it no, could no, no, happen. No. Let's see. How even Amber's agreeing? Do you do you think do you think aliens? Do you think we found aliens and we're just hiding it? Yeah. I'm sure. Oh, definitely Area Fifty One. Oh, when I, Trump I'm, I'm Trump says, I don't know. Oh, shit. Yeah. So. Do you remember when they were like gonna raid Area Fifty One? Yeah, you got like 51. three million like people saying they were gonna go and like a hundred yeah. people turned up. Yeah. Fucking Americans. I'm not I, I, I'm, I'm not so sure. I think they're probably there to have a bunch of warheads and they've got loads of stuff they don't want anyone to see. I don't think they have aliens. They've got a cure for something as well, I could imagine that. Well, now this is really conspiracy. I'm not, I'm not into it. Back to ghosts, back to ghosts, back to ghosts, quick. Should we talk about no, our no. The Back to ghosts. No so conspiracies. Basically, each week, me and James are set a task to research a spooky story. That's not actually and then Tell it, yeah, it's the first time doing yeah, that. I've got two, to be fair. Wider <laughs> reading. You've got two? One. Yeah, I just thought of another one. Nice. I've got an actual oh, you thought one. of one? No, I've got an actual like, horror Oof. thing. Okay, cool. Anyway, James can go first. Yeah, since he's got two, we'll do you, then you, then you. No, I'll take one for next You week. and you and you. Um, so there is a town in the Catskills in North America. In North what? America. What's in, that? In New York. Catskills? Catskills. It's a region in northern New York. As in, like, cat? Skills, yeah. Skills. C-A-T. Techers. Yeah. <laughs> Kit- Kitty techers. Yeah. That thing. Um, there's a town called Lordsville, and in this town, like, y- people just get shit scared of it, basically. Uh, so there's mannequins that are set up around the town. So right. people still live in this town, but the mannequins are set up, and at night, all the mannequins mo- like m- change places in the morning. Are you taking them in? No. Nah. Like, so, so obviously someone goes around and moves these mannequins, I reckon. But, like, yeah. It's fucking scary and shit. That would really scare me. We used to take. I've them. never when seen I, this. Can I search that? this right now? When I was younger, episode of Doctor Who. Lord yeah, with the yeah, mannequins. Yeah, with yeah, the mannequins. Yeah. When What's I was it called? younger, Lordsville. you know those like wooden uh, artist mannequins. What's it called? Lordsville. Yeah, like, the ones that are like that. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, little ones. In Hancock. Yeah. My Near brother, Hancock. Got, I just didn't like them. There was something about them that really like freaked, yeah, yeah, yeah. freaked me out. I get it. And um, my brother got one from my uh, IKEA or something, and he used to like put it in places in my room. Oh, in different no. positions, and every time I left and came back, it was in different position, and I didn't know. It there are a couple of stories of that. I think I think my girlfriend's mum did that to my girlfriend, and it proper wested me out. Proper what? Wested. I like that. That's Manchester no- slang. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Wested. You won't get it. You too. You too southern. Um, it sent it, it sent his head west. Confused. It sent me west. <laughs> I got that. That sent my head west. <laughs> Ooh. No, I can't. He found it. it. No. no. Lordsville. It doesn't exist. It does. Well, they doesn't. Find it. I want to see this. Go on, Jack. We've done. We've done. Okay. We've done James's mannequin. Is that it? We've done James's mannequin challenge. Bit shit. <laughs> Bit shit. Um, so basically, mine's about a church in a village in Northamptonshire, which is where I'm from. Um, and it's basically a church. Sorry. Yeah, church. Right. Well, it's to do with the church. In the 1800s, um, they had to repair part of the church building, and they had to like take away part of a beam and like a pillar or something. Mm-hmm. And behind the like masonry, they found a little package. Um, so I'm just reading it on here, mm-hmm. and it says they thought it was a like bird's nest or something, and they it fell out onto the floor and it shattered into loads of pieces, and then it transpired to be an outer shell. Wait one sec. 
it was a wicker container that broke and it like revealed a small bit of cloth in it and um that's what it is but there's no like pictures you can see back in here i can see they quickly unwrapped the cloth and what they found was a mummified human heart ah. but then the story gets more spooky because basically um when they look at how that's spooky there no because i haven't it. finished the story right, okay okay um, when the villagers found out about this, um, quite a few people came forward and said they'd had like spooky experiences in the church. Right. Um, one woman told how, on one particular occasion, she had a brief encounter with a ghost inside the church. Um, <laughs> she had been arra- arranging a posy of wild fly- flowers. Oh what? Oh, well, like a like, yeah, like right. a, um, wild flowers. When her attention was drawn by some slight movement in the area of the altar. And um, she was like froze. She was what's the word? Yeah, Paralyzed, like, petrified, like, like you. Petrified. Um, and one sec, I've forgotten where petrified. I am. Petrified. I'm not very good at telling these stories. That's the worst. Hang on, you're pretty bad, mate. Um, Do you want to put your glasses on? <laughs> <laughs> They're mine. <laughs> and then she watched as the figure dressed as in the dark robes of a monk approached the altar and proceeded to kneel and pray and somehow she managed to flee from the church and went in search of the priest and when they went back the figure had disappeared and then a second woman had a similar figure um, and she was dusting the pews of the church the, and the, then the, the what the pews okay the <laughs> like pubes. <laughs> <laughs> dusting the pews <laughs> and um, there was another slight movement um and then she saw the monk figure as well but on this occasion the apparition didn't stop to pray at the altar and it began to move up the aisle towards the woman disappearing oh, at the no. spot where the human heart had been found that's creepy and naturally in the absence of any other explanation the villagers were satisfied with the suggestions offered and this day some of the villagers um claimed to have seen the ghostly monk in recent times so, so when was that when did this was in the 18, 1800s Early. and but apparently the monk still Around. resides in this church in He's still just messing with whereabouts them. is it if you were a monk Woodford in Northamptonshire Woodford if you were a monk where are you going with this story if you were a monk and oh and uh, just a little thing um, the heart wrapped in its original cloth can be freely viewed through glass by visitors of the church I say we go. Should we go there? I say we go. We've got we've got like a list of places we're we're visiting in the summer for uh, just for footage. You know that is that that, that's a bit. It's whenever you hear these stories of stuff, it's just like people who I don't know. I feel like this is where I kind of going back to what I said earlier about religion and believing in ghosts, kind of being a little bit affiliated. I feel like if you're yeah, superstition, and not to say that religion is a superstition, bloody hell. Um, but I feel like if you have the capacity believe, to believe in something that you can't see, like God, which I'm not saying is wrong, but you can't see him, but you believe in him anyway, so you have faith, I feel like it's then, if you're the type of person that, 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 that can do that, then I feel like it's not far until you can also believe in other things that maybe you personally haven't seen, such as a ghost. Because I'm thinking this woman that's seen this monk she believes in something that she can't see or maybe she's had some kind but of experience how would you explain God? the coincidence because of him stopping where the they I found just a story no they found the heart after all of these experiences have happened and right. the fact that the monk stopped in the place where the heart was she that spooky Don't yeah but that, that, that whole story like how are you saying she's lying i'm not saying she's lying i'm saying i'm just questioning <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, it's a journalist <laughs> I'm questioning Shade. how true <laughs> it it could be or could not be. Like the the the, the only thing that's that's proof that we can go and see with our eyes is a mummified heart, or we could just go to Egypt and see a whole mummified body. I, I guess. Like. But there's proof. Like, I don't get your argument. You're just saying no. What do you mean there's proof? There's proof. She, she's saying it though. That's proof. She's saying what? That she saw a fucking monk. Yeah. You're just saying no, she couldn't. But well, I could I say I can see. I, I haven't seen it, so if I a if, footballer right in front of me, but I can't. That's just running. <laughs> <laughs> I could say Mad that skills. you believe me. So yeah. Yeah. If, well. if if I if I came here and said on on the way here I saw an ET, an extraterrestrial, an ET. Yeah, but would you actually believe me? No, because I'm not a fucking idiot. Right. Okay. Well, same. Well, same why were you idiots? Why, 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 why am I believing some lady in a church? Renny just might not be trusting. Yeah. No, Trust no, I'm not trusting. It, 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 it's, 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 it's going back to the same thing the other day no. when, when we talk about coincidences. It's like when something, when a spooky coincidence has happened, do you just say, 
Yeah, it was spooky, Oops. but it is just a coincidence. Or do you go to the leap of it with something supernatural? I never go to this bit until I have proof. That's what we were talking well, about today, like evidence to back everything up. Like, unless we well, have... In, in journalism 101. Are we going to talk about the spooky yeah. coincidence earlier? Or yeah, are you going okay. to have that in? No, we don't have that. We don't have that for okay. saved. So, earlier, we this is... Technically Great content. The, yeah, te- technically the second time we tried to record this because about five minutes in to the last time we tried to record it, I got a phone call off my mum. Yeah, Paula. I <laughs> accidentally uh, forgot to turn my um, my Wi-Fi off. Uh, Even though he told on. us to. Please do not disturb. <laughs> um, and so I got a, I got a phone call from my mum, Paula, who told me that we might want to mention on the show that uh, we were talking about how it was James's birthday on the 10th of November. No, we weren't. No, we weren't. Your mum's literally just been stalking me, that's why. Oh, right. <laughs> no. 11th, wasn't it? No, it's 10th. Oh, no, God. so on the 10th of November, my mum my called to say that my friend James, who's who my co- the co-star on the show, um, his, his birthday is the same as my mum's, which is a spooky coincidence. And then as she was on the phone about telling us about that spooky coincidence, Jack overheard it, and then he said... 10th of November, that's yeah. my mum's birthday as well, because I remember saying it to James because I looked at his passport. So my <laughs> mum's birthday... Is the same as your mum's birthday. Is the same as James's birthday. It's only a few years out as well. And ghosts. Then, if we you watched last week, hundred percent proof I know. If that ghosts <laughs> exist. <laughs> if you watched last week's episode, we were like angling for a spooky coincidence, and yeah. there it is. That is. That is. It's. Uh, oh. I would say it's like mediocrely speaking. When's your birthday? I might just well, cut this out for I don't a minute. Yeah. Birthday. Where's my birthday? Second of February. When's Izzy's birthday? Uh, tenth of March. Yeah. My I'm my old my older sister's birthday is the third of February, the day after mine. Oh, my brother's birthday is the third of February. What Ghost. a coincidence! Ghost. I'm no. telling you right now, I'm a believer. I'm telling you right now, I believe. Are you in your? Don't hurt me, Ghost. Are you and your siblings born very similarly, like dates? Because like, my brother's like two weeks before me, two weeks after. Not. I've got. We've got all. All. All my family was born within four months of each other. Like in the same, oh, like yes. November, December, January, February. Okay, right, James. You give us your your second story. Oh, you said you had I two. I can't. Oh what? Oh, you you don't have it memorized. Oh yeah, it's just about. Oh, I can. Go on, free free verse. Well, off the top of your head. Um, we're we're very. My story is about a woman who married a three hundred year old pirate, who was That's, based oh. on the character of Jack Sparrow. So Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean was based mm. on a, another character. I can't remember the name of them off the top of my head. Mm-hmm. Um, but this woman said that she saw him a few times and then just didn't think anything of it. And then on the third time, she started speaking to him. And they got to know each other over the course of a few months. And she's decided that she's going to get married to him. So they got married in international waters. Um, Who did that? What? Wait, anyone do anything for money? What? So it was just her standing there with no one next to her? Yeah. James is well touching himself. I'm itching my leg. Bloody hell, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I know I said you can swear on the podcast, but I wasn't expecting that sort of language well, to come up. Cut that one out. <laughs> no, that is staying in. <laughs> uh, that's the trailer. <laughs> All right, so she got married on the uh, boat and then changed her last So there was a, just a priest standing and then the, her on the left of the priest and then no one on the right. Oh, yeah. What happened when they like did the rings? Or kissing or anything? <laughs> You may know yeah, what, what did they exchange? <laughs> Spiritual fucking Thoughts, energy. Energy. I bestow upon you my energy, my lord. My, oh, friends, that's really my weird. sweet, sweet so captain. There must be wedding pictures somewhere. When you, loads of things happen like that. Like people have sex with dead people and. Yeah. What the fuck goes on in Corby? <laughs> <laughs> no, but there was like. When you, when you first just said that, that a woman wanted to get married to a 300 year old pirate. pirate. Yep. At first, I was like, at first, the whole 300 year old thing didn't click. I was like, pirate, that's not a ghost. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, 300 years, yeah, he's probably dead. <laughs> yeah, no. uh, so she got married, changed her last name to the pirate guy that she thought oh, it was. Oh my god, how? Yeah. What is it? So her name was like Ashley. It's like Heskel. Blackbeard. Or Ashley Blackbeard. <laughs> no, nah, it's like Heskel, isn't it? Heskel. Heskel. Not a very famous pirate. That famous pirate that we all know and love. Well, anyway. what Jack Sparrow is based off, if it's the correct person I'm thinking of. Ashley Sparrow. That's a good name, that. Aye. Johnny Depp is attractive, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't complain going out with Johnny Depp. So, anything else, guys? 
Insert cricket noise here. I'm gonna give you both an F. <laughs> on your homework. Well, no, actually, no, it was good. It was good. Your one your, well your, your, your was really good. Your, your first one was kind of good. The pirate one was a bit weak. I'm not, I was reading it. Memorizing <laughs> it from okay, right, fair enough. Um, which one of those two stories did you prefer? The Lord, the mannequin one. The mannequin was creepy. Oh, that one is. Yeah, but there's no proof. Creepy. He probably just made that up. Someone, yeah, you definitely. There's nothing on There was nothing on Google. What's it called? Lordsville. See, it just brings back the Doctor Who yeah. type things. So that's really Lord. creepy. Yeah, it's like Ville. that. Yeah, Ville. It's a place where they have mannequins. It's like Whoville. Like what, what, what do you think is the scariest episode street. of Doctor Who? Lord shit. Ville. What? Shit. Get out of here. You it, still man. watch Doctor Who? No, I don't still watch Doctor then Who. Why, no, no, Doctor Who. Who. I stopped good. when David Tennant yeah, left. Oh, yeah. I stopped mm, after Matt Smith, I think. Yeah. Wait, yeah. So he still watches Doctor Who? No. Well, do you like? Do you prefer the female Doctor? No. Why? It's That's well sexist. No, oh my is it because she's a woman? <laughs> no, it is not because she's a woman. I've got no issue with Apparently it is. We have confirmation. Why? Why? From our third eye. <laughs> why do I not like it? I don't... I, no, why don't you like her? No, without sounding horrible, I, do I like think her. David Tennant was a lot better. Yeah, and he's I, like, I, I liked Matt Smith just as much. And just to show you that I'm not sexist, I also didn't like Peter Capaldi's recreation of the Doctor. Is that because he's Scottish? No, are you I racist? Just, no, is he the It's got nothing dude? to do with anything like any stereotype. Yeah. I, 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 I don't, I don't like them to just be young men. Um, I don't mind if they're women. I don't mind if they're older. I just didn't like their characters. I didn't like the way they were written. You sound like Edna. Didn't like the way they were written. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> Rennie's no, actually okay, fuming. What's wrong with I'm well fuming. Should we start the podcast again? No. You, 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 you painted me well bad in this episode. It's only your family that you can listen to it, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah fair enough. Ouch. Hoping for another 100 lessons on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna happen. I could probably share them as well. Oh, thank you, James. <laughs> Ten people will see that. <laughs> <laughs> you get six likes. Or 96,000, maybe. Yeah, none of them are on it anymore. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you, James. They're probably all dead. <laughs> Ghosts. I've got ghost followers. Ooh. Confirmed. Got for sure. Don't you think it's creepy how, like, I would, I don't know, there's a percentage on Facebook that half of them are all dead or something, isn't it? Yeah, I always think it's weird. When someone dies, their social media is still... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Active, 90 yeah. people know their passwords. I know, and it's just froze forever. So, like, literally... In, Luckily, if I die, my ex... Think about how many oh, social media accounts there'll be in, like, 200 years, because we'll all be dead. Well, I don't think social, social media's been around media, for 200 years. I know, in the next 200 years. Oh, We're not going to be around for 200 years, mate. <laughs> Global warming's going to end us quick if World War Three don't. Or coronavirus. This is... If, Storm it, if, you, if you watch this in the future, Storm Dennis. If you watch this in the future, I bet coronavirus isn't an issue anymore. But that's currently what we're facing at the moment. In twenty, in you know, February of twenty twenty, big up the coronavirus. Actually, don't. Have you seen? There's always like an outbreak, Wuhan, like massive Norfolk, plague thing on every like twenty. So like nineteen twenty. 2020, 1820. Yeah, but it was 2019. There you go. People, people making coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus was 2019, 2020, December. It? December. What happened started. in 2010? Was it? Started in December, but no one knew about it because it was just a couple of cases. It was started from people eating bats, apparently. What happened in 2000? No, it started. Yeah, but there's an outbreak. Not every, there's an outbreak all the time. We'll let these guys. Stupid things. 2020, 1920, it wasn't, 1820. Oh, like that. It wasn't 2020. It was I've 2019. Every 20 this is this is the problem. It's with stuff like oh, spooky coincidence. No, you've just changed it. It wasn't 2020. It was 2019. But that, that, that sort of stuff, that sort of stuff happens all the time. People like make things a little bit different because no one notices to make something a really big coincidence. But it wasn't 2020. Do you believe coronavirus is man-made? Apparently, it wasn't. There's a conspiracy saying it was man-made. Yeah, but there's in... a conspiracy saying that we've got a cure for cancer. And I don't believe that one either, because cancer is a pretty complicated thing. Like, it isn't. It's the, um, the no, 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 no two cancers are the same. It's like it's your actual cells. Yeah. You say that, but how old's the queen? And she's not. Got <laughs> <laughs> oh, the queen's not that old. The queen's like ninety. She's, no, she's like ninety yeah. or some shit. But what percentage of people like, have like, cancer? Do you reckon now? when she, she gets to hundred, she has to send a letter to herself? <laughs> that is so good. I've not heard that one before. That you is know. well good. <laughs> Just put it in the post to Elizabeth II. Just walk around the <laughs> Just puts it on a table. Goes to the other table. Picks it up. The queen is ninety-three. I thought. Oh, I thought she was ninety-six. But still, have you heard about? Like... Have you heard about um, London bridges down? No. Oh yeah, when the queen dies. Yeah, that's the we we thing. we should know about that realistically. What London Bridge falling down? N- no. Apparently, we get twelve it's days of morning. Yeah. And all the banks shut for twelve yeah, so days. Yeah. So the te- TV, they're not allowed to show any on the BBC at least. Yeah, they're yeah, not yeah. allowed to show comedies or anything. Yeah. If so you're in the army, you have to report straight to your base as soon as she dies. Yeah. We we um. Be smashed. You have to get there. If 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 we're lucky enough to 
get a job after this course. I was wondering what you were about to say, if we were lucky enough to see her die. No, 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 no. <laughs> if we're lucky enough to get a job after this course, we might be doing like live presenting for some sort of television show. Um, and basically, if, if you are doing that and the Queen dies, there is a light in all BBC studios that if it turns on, basically signals that the Queen's died and you've just got to stop. Just walk out. Stop whatever you're doing. And then the, 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 the BBC has, like, on, on all computers a file called London Bridges Down, which is the code word for the Queen dying. And that, that plays, and it's just like a public service announcement that the Queen's dead. And then no comedy shows play for, a whole, for like, 12 and, days um, or whatever. The wow. person who reports it has to have, like, a black tie on. Yeah, they change the tie and everything. We... we um, I don't. Uh, maybe we'll learn about that. Do you remember when um, everyone thought she died on Twitter? Like, yeah, that was a couple weeks ago. Do you remember when everyone thought Nelson Mandela died, but then he actually died multiple years later, causing a huge conspiracy of the Mandela effect yeah. to happen? What do you guys think about that? Everyone thought he died in prison, didn't they? Do you guys, do you guys think that there's that that's a real thing and that there's like parallel universes? Like, yeah, I know what the Mandela effect. Like a lot, a lot of people think he died ages and ages and ago everyone's in in prison. In and the, um, everyone who thinks that thinks that they're just that they've transcended from a different reality in which that actually happened instead of just thinking maybe I'm wrong. What about the Simpsons conspiracy thing? Where the oh, Simpsons, well, they, they predict the future. Yeah, yeah. with the, um, Donald Trump and obviously the, the Kobe happened. thing. They predicted the Kobe thing. Yeah, I don't know about that. They, they predicted the Kobe having an, uh, a plane a plane, crash. A plane crash, but then oh. people were justifying it, saying, "Well, Kobe would get a plane too." Is training every other day, mm-hmm. so it could have likely happened with that. Why are you looking at Kit Kat? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> nah, I've got Kit Kat. Um, does the logo have a dash on it in between the words Kit and Cat? Is it product placement? No. Well, do, do I think it does? What does everyone think? Wait, yeah, it I've does. got I've got a Kit right, Kat right here. Does it have does does yes. does Kit Kat have a space between the kit and the cat? No, no does it like a dash? A space, yeah. Oh, well, like, well, like a dash or a space? A dash. Either was one or the other. It's neither. It's not got any space. So it hasn't got a dash, and you just said it did. No, I said I changed my answer before. Dash. That's the Mandela effect. We're not sponsored by Kit Kat. Everyone thinks it has a dash, but um, it doesn't have anything between. The, what is that? Is that a? No, um, that's a. It's Jack's conspiracy theory of the week. Is that not just like an old version though? Because that that doesn't like this, or is that just the American rapping for Kit Kat? No, Kats? it's an old version of it. Well, no. Love a Kit I'd Kat. say it really is. That is very old, doesn't it? Kit it's, it's Kit never Kat's ha- look the same in every country. It's never had a dash, but everyone thinks it does. It does have <gasps> It doesn't! It doesn't, look. No dash, you mongrel. It has got a dash. <laughs> see, I, see, I didn't shock. think it had a dash. But then, when you ask something like that, I feel like most of the Mandela effect can be, like, just put away as... Oh, no, I saw one. I think this is the same thing. Okay. It was like, you know, the Star Wars, when everyone's saying, Luke, yes, I am your father. That's, that's he's not, not actually it saying it. He says, no, it says, I am your father. Yeah, so he, he, he doesn't say Luke. In the, in the famous line that everyone thinks, Luke, I am your father, he doesn't say Luke. He says, no, he says, I, no am father. I am your father. How crazy Did is that? Did you know that he's I always Luke thought Skywalker's that. actually reacting to a different line? He's not re- uh, reacting to Luke, I am your father. He's reacting to Luke, I killed your father. Oh, and they just changed it. No, yeah, no, they just didn't tell uh, Mark Hamill. Oh, what? Why? So we could be surprised. Oh, what? oh, right. Surely, yeah. so, surely someone must have known. Why, why do they not trust Mark Hamill? Who for? knows? Oh. Well, people like the Avengers. They don't give the same script to everyone. Oh yeah, I know about do that. Do they not? No, no. Like that's why. Um, if that was it, me, I'd be they, like, like dummy scripts. What are you talking yeah. about? And no one ever like films like the same stuff with each other. It's because there's a lot of like history of people like ruining films because they got the scripts and then accidentally spoiled it but you can bet on stuff as well <laughs> like you can bet on who's gonna sit on the throne in game of thrones and really it, yeah who saw bran <laughs> i don't watch game of thrones i, I got bored after like season six <laughs> it's like two, what, two more seasons after that i know anyway this isn't a ghost story just quick <laughs> <sorry. laughs> quickly go back to earlier have you told your little this is like throwback to the, the beginning of the episode have you told you of your Yeah, she knows. What, can you remember how she reacts to it? or how she, was she Did she think it's creepy or does she just not care? She just doesn't care about mm-hmm. anything in would the world. Would you care if something like that happens to you? She's a 13-year-old girl. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Mm, yeah. Same metabolism as Amber. <laughs> <laughs> no. Same I, age as most of James's followers. On Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Either that no, or they're, they're, not they're in this room right now as ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> well, my father's probably like fucking... If you were told a story by your parents, like for, like the one that happened to Helena's sister, or like the one that happened to my friend where he sat in front of a mirror. Would you be creeped would it, out? Would, would, would you be worried? Would you be happy that maybe you had a connection to your 
drone about. I don't know. I reckon it'd be cool. I reckon it'd be sick. I think if it happened like, once... If I saw a ghost, I wouldn't be... I don't like, know, because if you, do, if you can't that. remember it, you'd just be like... Oh, but yeah. but if, if, the, if the thing that happened to my friend happened to you, would you not be like scared to look in mirrors or something? No, it's not a scary thing. Okay. Thank you so much for listening. Um, we've moved quite a long way from ghosts. We've talked about conspiracy theories. Aliens. Um, but thank you very much to Eleanor for sharing her story of her sister. Thank you very much Thank, for having me. Thanks for sharing. You're not going to clap, James. <laughs> thank you, Eleanor. Thank you. Um, thank you, Jack, for coming here again. Thank you, James, for okay. coming here again, even though Jack puts a little bit more effort in than you. <laughs> even though I actually s- sit near to the mic. So yeah, exactly. Even Can though he puts me? his headphones on for the whole episode and not just at the end or at the beginning so that people think they have them on. Um, and thanks to me, no problem. Thank you for listening, though. Uh, this is now episode one, which means that you sat through the pilot and then thought, let's come back and listen to the next if one. If you so, sat through all of this, I'll be very surprised. Thank you very much. I, re- I really do appreciate Cheers, it. We appreciate it. Uh, join us next week when we will hopefully have another guest. Have another guest. Maybe two. Uh, Maybe Aiden not. And Maybe we'll have Aiden and Matthew, which How we said we we're going to come on in? for this week. We'll, go, the, we'll go in the next studio, yeah, okay. with, with, which has more mics. Um, but yeah, as I said, thank you very much for listening. Thank you for the ghost for being here. And as per usual, you may now exit. Um, and that has been the Lights oh. Out podcast. <laughs> That's what Jack said last time. He was like, actually, no, thank you. Actually, Please no, leave. Thank you. leave. Actually, no, thank you. And actually, the come in, show yourself. Yeah. Don't hurt us. And I'll leave. The amount of times I've listened to the pilot podcast editing it, it's, it's stupid. Oh, nice. but thank you very much. James, can you say something stupid like last time so that I could just fade it to black? What did I say last time? You said Skepta. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I was like, can you, I was like, can you stop knocking? And he said, it's not me. And I said, why is it the ghost? And he said, no, Skepta. And that's where I finished the episode. <laughs> See you next time. In a bit. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.